Hello and welcome everyone, it's Martin here with Crypto Gains. We have mixed news and mixed developments surrounding Bitcoin. First of all, analysts are pointing out that Bitcoin closed its worst quarter since 2018 following a 40% price drop, which is quite significant. And in addition to that, this is Bitcoin's third worst quarter since 2014. However, on the positive side, some reports suggest that George Soros' investment fund is now trading Bitcoin. This is one of the most influential traders, one of the biggest names in the field of trading and investment and investing. And it's huge support for Bitcoin that he is willing to consider trading it. In addition to that, Repo announced the release of another 1 billion of XRP on July 1st. This, this is a common practice by Repo to release 1 billion XRP on the first of each month to provide more liquidity and finance some of its operations. In general, this is supportive for the network over the long term. However, short term, the additional supply of Repo may drive prices lower. And finally, there are some news from one of the most influential trader, namely Lark Davis. that He is very bullish on Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano as it's entering its smart contract era finally, which means that it's finally going to be able to do functional stuff and increase its utility. And he's also very bullish on Matic or Polygon. He believes that the run is not over yet and there is clearly more opportunity for upside. So let's move to the technical charts and see how we can trade each of these assets, beginning with Bitcoin. To me, 33,250 is acting as very robust support area. If we maintain levels above that, I'm looking to buy Bitcoin with targets 34,250 and 35,200. If we break below 33,250, we could see more declines taking us down to 32,450 and 31,240. Now we are moving to Ethereum. After rallying to nearly 2,300, Ethereum is now correcting gains. The critical level remains 2,140. Above that level, buying Ethereum with targets 2,235 and 2,280. Conversely, should we break below 2,140, sell Ripple pardon, sell Ethereum with targets 2090 and then if that level is broken we could retest the 2040 level. Now let's move to Ripple. After ever, ever since dropping below one, Ripple remains very attractive for me but ideally in terms of day trading I like break above 0.66 to initiate long positions with target 0.69 and 0. Point, let me adjust that for you and 0.725 on the long side. Conversely, if we break the support to 0.66, we could see declines to 0.63 and 0.6. And now we're going to discuss the two other cryptocurrencies that Lark Davis is bullish on, beginning with Cardano. To me, 1.31 represents very robust support for Cardano, giving us good opportunities to initiate long positions with targets at the nearest resistance 1.35 and then higher up 1.394. Conversely, however, if we break below 1.31, Declines on the short side can take us to 1.28 and 1.26, which of course are good targets for short positions in Cardano. And finally, let's take a look at Polygon. The pivot point in Polygon is 1.085. Above that level, I suggest buying Polygon with targets 1.13 and 1.17 on the, on the long side. And if we break the support at 1.085, we could see declines to 1. 0.05 and 1.02. These are all the ideas for today. Keep learning with the video education section and the Crypto Games Market Insights subsection. And very importantly, remember to join the Crypto Signals Made Easy channel for lots of insightful articles and trading ideas to help you be a more successful and profitable trader. Thanks for joining me today. Trade wisely and I will see you soon. Bye bye.